Hey everybody, my name is Laura and welcome back to Book Bubbler. I have my March TBR for you guys today. I know it's a little bit late, sorry. It's just not been my week. So let's hop right in. I have the dust jacket here <laughs> for Sarum by Edward Rutherford. This is the year long read that I'm doing with Danny at Spinelli Speaks. I have yet to start that book. That's right, it is the third month of the year and I have not picked it up yet. She knows, she thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> is way ahead of me. Um, so I need to really start this book in earnest this month. So that's first up. Then for the Out of the Coffin Read Along, Suki Stackhouse, Southern Vampire, True Blood Series, whatever you want to call it, by Charlene Harris. Um, third book, Club Dead, is up. I've just barely started it. So it's, it's lots of fun so far. Um, this is hosted by Ange at Ange's Book Chatter and Amy at Booktube with Amy. They'll be having a live chat of the second book, on this past Friday, so you can go back and watch that if you are reading along. There's also a really fun Discord group too, so I'll be reading this one. This is like my most fun one. Then for Double Booked Co. for our monthly read along in March, um, the title that got picked, which is perfect for Middle Grade March, and I forget who hosts Middle Grade March except for Krista at Books and Jams, but there are other wonderful ladies. I'm so sorry, I will look you up and try and link you below but I'll be reading Green Glass House by Kate Milford. I've had this on my shelves since it was first published, this first edition of hardcover, and um, I cannot wait to read this one. It's set um, in the winter at a smuggler's inn. It should be the off season and pretty like quiet. Everyone should just, you know, take it easy, recoup, but then the doorbell keeps ringing and like there's some mystery that this little boy is trying to solve with his young friend, so. This should be really good. So doubling up, middle grade March and double booked co. Then for um, oh for the Golden Girls Readathon, the prompt this month, Golden Girls Readathon is hosted by Rachel Fryman. By the way, I did not even write down the prompt. <laughs> Let's flip back, shall we? I am so with it. Not okay. Um, has to have girls in the title. That's what it is. So I have, of course, I have books with girls in the title, but one of my book two prize books has girl in the title, and I'm going to count that instead because I have to read that for sure. So that'll be covered there for Book Naturalists, hosted by Heidi at My Reading Life and Doris at Aldi Books. We have two titles this month. The first one, I'm halfway through. It's so good. This is Why Fish Don't Exist, A Story of Loss, Love, and the Hidden Order of Life by Lulu Miller. It's illustrated. These illustrations are just beautiful. Um, I mean, look at that. It's amazing. It's amazing. So this is the first book. And the second one is Spineless, The Science of Jellyfish and the Art of Growing a Backbone by Julie Burwald. Um, I bought this a couple of years ago because I am terrified of jellyfish. I'm terrified of invertebrates. Um, anything in the ocean, pretty much. I'm not scared of the ocean. Well, deep water. I'm sounding crazier than I am, which I don't need any help with, but I, jellyfish, they're beautiful and they're fascinating, but they really scare me. So I bought this trying to like understand more what it is. So I hope I can get to this this month sincerely because I have book two prize books to finish y'all. So I am nonfiction. I'm in group F. I have already finished one. I finished it like immediately in 20 minutes. It was a lovely experience reading something that quickly. Um, so, very briefly, I have five books left to read. So I've started two of them. That's something, right? So we have Under a White Sky, The Nature of the Future by Elizabeth Colbert. She won the Pulitzer Prize for The Sixth Extinction, which was a couple of years ago. This is essays, essentially, on all different topics about how nature is changing. So I'm in the first chapter right now, and it's in Chicago, and she's talking about um, reversing the flow of a river and the Asian carp population, which is such a massive problem here in Lake Michigan. Um, I live outside of Milwaukee, for you guys, those of you who don't know, which is like an hour and a half, two hours north of Chicago. Um, so same lake, same coastline, same everything, um, same problems. And it's really, it's very fascinating. There are some pictures and illustrations in here too, which is always nice to have. Um, so working on this one, the other one that I started and was able to renew y'all very happily about, happy about that. This is All the Frequent Troubles of Our Days, the true story of the American woman at the heart of the German resistance to Hitler by Rebecca Donner. Fun fact, this woman is from, this woman 
is from Milwaukee. So it's set a little bit in the Milwaukee area. And she talks about writing back to her folks in Wisconsin. I was like, hey, Milwaukee. It's kind of nice. So this one, which is really interesting. I should have said that. Sorry. Erase that from your memory. Then we have Girlhood Essays by Melissa Phoebos. This is the one that I'm using to double up for the Golden Girls Readathon as well. Because Girlhood and Girls, it's close enough, right? I think so. And then we have The Black Church. This is our story. This is our song by Henry Louis Gates Jr. I love him and I love his stuff and I'm very excited to have to read this. And the very last book, A Most Remarkable Creature, The Hidden Life and Epic Journey of the World's Smartest Birds of Prey by Jonathan Myberg. So I think also has illustrations. So that's what I have to read this month. I'm hoping to read some more. I'm hoping to finish up, excuse me, some of the books that I have started last year and have not finished um but this is a lot and i i really would like to finish these before they're due again that's the 16th so i have two weeks to read these and then i have two more weeks to read these plus this i don't think i'm gonna be bored all right i better get cracking and get back to it while I have some time to read, right? So, okay. Well, good luck to everyone doing the book two prize. I'm assuming not many of you have turned your stuff in, though I did get a note from Robert, an email from Robert, and any of you who participated, I'm sure you got this too, that like half of the people have already voted. Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, I know I'm kind of a slacker, but wow, I gotta get my button gear. All right, um, hope you have a good reading month in March and I will talk to you guys soon.